Hey guys, it's Trish from Trish's Card Club, live from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Happy Monday night, everybody. So now that's my standard opening, and now I'm going to wait a minute or two because I realize that you guys need time to refresh your screens and get online. So while you're doing that, I'm going to look away and I'm going to get you set up on my computer. So there's, that'll be a little quiet for a moment. While I get everything all set up. Okay. I'm in. I don't see anybody yet, but that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> because there's always like a 10 second delay. So I never kind of know when people are on there. Oh, I see Miss Mary. So I have a human being. Yay, yay. Hey, Mary. How are you, my friend? It was so good to see you at Zoom. So, so good to see you. And Tuckles, oh, you made it. Hopefully your internet will survive, Teresa, hopefully. Okay, I need to practice where to look. I think I am now looking in the correct location, I think. Of course, when I look this way, I can't see who's joining. I can't see comments. I can't see anything, but I think it's a little bit easier when I look this way. Oops, I see my husband in the background. Uh -oh. oh, yes. <laughs> Oop, he just snuck away. So I'm kind of stalling a little bit just to give people a chance to get on um, and get their, their computer refreshed. And I, I, I've heard other people wait and I was like, what are they waiting for? But when I was talking to my sister Anne Marie, she was telling me that sometimes she misses the beginning of my videos. It's because she's refreshing her, uh, her computer, even though she's on made at eight o'clock, I don't load to like eight o'clock and 25 seconds or eight o'clock and 35 seconds. So just giving everybody time to do that. All right, I think everybody's in. Um, I'm going to do a couple of quick announcements and then I have a ton of stuff to share that I don't need to be on the screen for. So I'm going to do that. My first announcement is just a, a continuous reminder that we are doing Stampin' Up! is doing a color refresh. They're going to announce the discontinued colors and the new colors on the 29th this month, this week, the 29th. Um, and then your demonstrator, me, will get that information out to you, um, probably by email. Here's the thing. If you have favorite colors that you know that you want to keep, and you want to place an order, you need to like call me tonight or tomorrow and get that order in because everything that they have in inventory is going to sell out. Everything it does. Every time there's a color refresh, it always sells out. If you have ink pads in your home that do not have ink refills, you really, really, really should order the refills because then those ink pads will last for a very, very, very long time. Speaking of ink pads and refills, Stampin' Up! is now going to be... Um, uh, changing their their philosophy on ink pads. They they don't feel that they are a forever item anymore. Uh, the reason they say that is because they are made up of chemicals and chemicals change over time. If you have ink pads that have red in them or purples, you might see your ink pads get a little bit funky. It's because there's a chemical change that's happening with the inks. So they're saying that they are no longer a forever item. They're also saying that you cannot combine old ink refills with new ink pads because they are redoing the form, the ink formula with this new new catalog coming out. So you if you need a refill, you really need to get it now while the old ink refills are still in stock. Okay, so that's one thing. Let me look at my notes. Um, I think that's it. I think those are the most important things. Uh, Zoom was fantastic and I even had a card that I was going to show you but I have no idea where, to, where I put it. Hmm. I was going to show you the card we did on Zoom. It was really cute. It was really good to see everybody. And what else? I think that's it. Um, the house is coming along. We got our notice today that we have to renew our lease. Um, we, we, have 60, we have to give a 60-day notice. And we cannot renew our lease because the lease, the rents by the month are so astronomical. So please, 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 if you're a praying kind, pray that our um, builder will get this done so that we can move in by the end of May. That's our goal and our dream and our hope that that will happen even a week or two before that would even be better. So, but we're keeping our fingers crossed that'll happen. And then I'll do a video tour and you can see my new stamps, my stamp studio, stamp room. Don't get carried away, Trish. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put you down. You know the rules, close your eyes. I'm gonna flip the camera, put you down. Gonna show you some stuff. Um, I got some a new item that I wanna talk a little bit about. And I wanna show you some cards that I made at a bingo um, event that I went to this uh, over uh, online this weekend. And I think that's it, okay. Let me flip it and send you down. Oops, I always do that. I always send you to the ceiling. Oh my gosh. Sorry about that, you guys. I always send you to the ceiling instead of sending you down. Okay, this is the first thing that I wanted to show you guys. 
I mentioned a couple weeks ago, the Stampin' Up! is going to start doing promotions that are online only promotions where you are going to not see items. You're going to see items available that are not in the catalog. You have to actually go to my website or oh, Stampin' Up!'s website, shameless plug, trishann.stampinup.net. And you can see online exclusives. Well, this is one of them. It's three a package of three embossing folders. And it's just called um, basic embossing folders. There's three of them, they're in their 3D. And you guys, they're gorgeous. They're so gorgeous. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the patterns because of the darn light, but there's one huge polka dot one, which I'm totally in love with. There's a hash mark one, which I love. And then this one is flowers. Let me see if you can see it any better on here. Can you see it any better on there? They're really beautiful. They're ten dollars a piece, or they're three for thirty dollars. So it's a little bit, um, it's 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 a little bit of an investment, but they these will last forever, and I love the patterns. So I just want to show you that. So I'll be, we'll do we'll do something with those online, pretty soon. Okay. So for the bingo cards that I went to, we did three. Um, this was the first one. And then it just has a little part where you um, write your message here. So that that was really cute. And all of them, they gave us enough DSP to have a matching envelope. So that was one of them. And then this was the next one. This was really cool. Let's see if I can do this so you can see it. So this is the, it folds flat. And then when you open it, you put your words right here. So I don't know what that's called. I don't know what kind of fold that is called, but it was kind of funky. And then the final one, which was my favorite, is this one. And it's Diorama. Can you see that, you guys? It is so cute. I'm going to actually send this to my niece, or my great niece. She will love it. And it folds flat, so it folds in a regular envelope, so it goes flat. And then it opens up to a diorama. So I thought that was really fun. So that was, that was a fun uh, bingo class. So I wanted to show you guys that. I like that a lot. Okay. If I could remember where I put the cards that we did on Friday night, I mean on Bingo Saturday morning, I would show you, but I have no idea where I put them. So, hmm. You know, normally I put them away, and then I can't find them. That's what I normally do. All right, so tonight we're going to be making a card using something from the catalog. We, we used it months and months and months ago. I haven't taken it out since, but I saw a really cute card online, and I got inspired. Um, it's using the cup of tea bundle. So there's two different um, tea uh, cups and then a solid teacup and lots of ferns and just some really, really cute, cute sayings in here. So I'm going to, that's what we're going to make. So in order to give credit, a shout out, this card originally, this card was created by Norita Hernandez. I don't know if that's how you say her name. So I apologize if I'm butchering it. She sent it to Chris, she sent this card to Christina Butcher and then Christina Butcher posted it. So it's got a long history, but I'm going to, I'm going to Kate, I'm going to be inspired by it, not using the same colors, but it's a very similar layout. Okay. So let's get started. We have our card base and I'm going to score it. So it lays flat. And then I had already cut up some, I, I had cut up from another card that I did strips of design a series paper. So I just use these strips. So I'm just going to put them on kind of cattywampus along the, the, um, card base like that but I'm going to glue them down I just wanted you to guys to see that so let's take these off I want to leave them in that order because I want to glue them down in that order and there's no special there's no rhyme or reason to the way that I'm gluing them I just I just liked how I picked the um the um the order of them so that's why I'm doing it like this just kind of alternating And one more. So that's the base. Another great way to use th these were scraps too. So another great way to use up your card your DSP if you have scraps. That's another great way to do it. Then off camera, I took the dies and I cut out the teacup and the framelit for the and, and the frame for the teacup. So to put that together, I'm going to use um, what we call green glue, but it's not green glue. It's white. I need my. Um, silicone mat. I'll just use my hands. Let me get it started. Let me get it started. Come on. Come on. Okay. 
And I'm just going to put a teeny bit of dabs here and there. It's not like this is going to be in a hurricane, this card, so I'm not going to worry about it being, you know, too, too much, with too much glue on it. I'm just trying to glue it down. Might be hard to see that on paper, but. And I'm going to glue that to the card. I mean, to the teacup. Let me get it off the card so I don't get glue on my card. Okay. See a little bit of glue coming through. That's all right. We can handle that. Okay. Now, put that down. And I have to get the glue off the middle of my uh, hand that I put on there. Okay, so that those are framelits that come from, this, from the bundle. And then this little tea bag comes from the bundle. And this little heart, which I already cut out all before I came on so that you guys would not have to go through the process of watching me do that. I'm going to put on this heart with the dimensional. I just had to grab for my glasses because it's so small. And then I'm going to put that here like that. I'm going to put on that tea bag. It's not the tea, it's a tea bag tag, right? It's not the tea bag itself. Okay. And I'm going to put this on with dimensionals too. Like that. I'll take these off. And I will take this off. And then what I'm going to do, you guys, before I put them down, I'm going to take some twine with some scissors. And I'm going to put a little piece of twine on that so it stays there. And I'm going to put a little piece of twine on here so it stays there on the on the um, dimensionals. Okay, I might need to cut that, that's too long. Let me take that off and chop that down a little bit because that's way too long. And that might be too short, we'll see. Okay, that way it'll stay on the card. And then now I'm gonna do the card like this. <laughs> like that and then and I have someone I'm sending this to hopefully she doesn't watch this video she doesn't watch all my videos and hopefully she won't watch this one because I wanted to be surprised but she loves tea so I'm going to send her that card and then I used um, a word stamp set that is also in the catalog where did I put it and I love it because I love all, I've used it a couple times. I, it's been a while since I've referred to it though. Go to greetings. It has all these different fonts, but the same th happy birthday, thinking of you, just a note and thank you. And they just repeat it. So I'm using this little tiny just a note. I think you can see that. Some black ink. Now, the other reason I'm doing this is because I want to show you, I am not, I'm literally taking a piece of scrap paper. I am not getting a die. I'm not getting a punch. I'm literally taking a piece of scrap paper, stamping it, and I'm going to cut it out. Hang on, I have ink all over my, look at, I have ink all over me, you guys. I just, just opened the ink pad and I have ink all over me. But I have handy dandy wipes, and let me wipe off my hands before I... Oop, I already got it on the card, if you can see right there. Let me wipe my hands off before I get it on anywhere else. And then I'll do my cutting out. Oh my goodness. Trisha, Trisha. Okay, so literally I'm going to cut it long. I'm not going to be worrying about it being perfectly straight. I mean, I could cut this part out with the, with the cutter, but... I, ha I don't have it. I have my scissors. I don't need it. I just want to show you that you can make a fun tag. You don't need to have a punch, a die. You can you can do it just by cutting some funky edges. And I've showed this before, but I just really believe in it really strongly that I think sometimes we think we have to have every single thing in the catalog and we don't. We just need to have be be willing to be a little bit creative. So just a note, I'm going to put that on with dimensionals. And 
and I'm going to send this to my friend who loves tea. And that's the card. Cute, huh? So easy. Um, my card colors are very different than um, the ladies that posted them, but the, the, the design, the layout is the same. Um, I, so I just wanted to show you another way to use up your scraps and get a card in the mail because around here we make it and we mail it. So I thought that you guys would like that. Um, mm -hmm. Let me see. I don't really even know who's on. Let me see if I can go back and at least acknowledge some people. Hold on one second, you guys. Let me see if I can get back to where my comments are. Um, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Oh, the technical challenges of this lovely thing called Facebook. Okay, let's see. Um, bear with me. I'm trying to see if I can get my video to come back up. Aha, I got it. Okay, comments. Dimensionals. Did I say the wrong thing, Huckles? Or did I use too many? What are the, oh, dimensions for the stripes, for the stripes. Um, these are one inch by three inches. So in a six by six piece of cardstock, um, you can get, um, you can cut them up to get two, two different sets. Does that make sense? So they're one inch by three inches. Good question, Huckles. Terrific card. Oh, Andy, you're so funny. Hey, Miss Patty, good to see you. Good to see you. Okay, it says I have more comments. The question is, where would they be? Let's see if I can catch them um oh my goodness gracious people well it says I have other comments out there but I can't get to them at the moment um I think that I saw Angela come on I think and if you did miss Angela your card that won um, um the Phoebe Friday you have a lot of people asking how you made that card so if you can go back to Linda's webpage where the rubber hits the road and let people know they would be very appreciative because everyone loved that card. So it was really, really good. And I just see Miss Julie. Hey, Julie, good to see you. <clears throat> I can't really see who else. Let me see if I have another way to figure out. Oh, Nancy, I see that you were on there and Carrie. And I think Judy, I think I saw you, Miss Judy, although I can't for some reason. Yeah, your card was gorgeous, Angela. It was everyone. I mean, it got a lot of reviews. People loved it. So they want to know how you made that magic. Um, uh, the three embossings for the mini. All three embossing folders are for the regular one, Nancy. It's not, they don't have, they don't fit the mini. They're for the full size uh, cut in uh, emboss machine. Good question. Good question. All right. I think, uh, I think that's it, you guys. I don't really think I have anything else to share. Uh, I think that I miss you as always. It's almost April. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know how that happened. This year is flying by. And I'm not sad because I really want to move out of our apartment into our house and get settled. So I'll be happy when that happens. Um, usually I can see the comments. And for some reason, it's not letting me see the comments. So, oops, wait a minute. I think I finally found them. I think I can see them. I can. Um, let's see. And uh, the, the folders aren't available right now. Oh, that's a bummer. You guys, the folders that I mentioned, they're, they're, they're not available to order right now. Thank you, Amory. Um, hopefully they'll come back. Yes, Judy, my, your crushed curry turned funky. I know my, um, rich razzleberry turned funky. A couple of my colors turned very funky. Um, and there's no cure for it. You can try to wipe it off with a paper towel and then re-ink it. That's like about all that you can do or you have to replace it. And then, as I said, Stampin' Up! is, is changing their, their marketing strategy on uh, ink pads saying that they're not forever now. They, that there will be chemicals. The, the way they describe it to us is like you put flowers in a vase and eventually the flowers die because there's a chemical change in the, in the, in the flowers as they are in the water. That's how they're describing the changes to the to the um, chemistry of the ink pads. So just, we learn something new as science changes, we have to change too with it, or science doesn't change. What changes what we learned about it, so. <laughs> All right, everybody, I miss you guys. I love you guys. Remember around here, we make it and we mail it. I hope that you'll get something out in the mail today to bless somebody this week with a card. And I will be here. Oh, you guys, you know what? I will not be here next Monday night. 
Um, let me tell you why. It's not not that it's it's not it's nothing exciting. Trust me. I am have started going to a chiropractor, and this chiropractor requires that you attend a class that talks a lot about um, what what she does, how she does it, why she does it, um, ways that you can help your body be, be stronger and last longer. And um, it's a, it starts at six fifteen, but she never starts on time. She is definitely a doctor. And so I don't want to say, okay, I'll be here and then be stressed the whole time the class is going on. So they won't be alive next Monday night, but I'll be back the following Monday night um, with um, more cool products for you guys to see or more cool stuff for you guys to see. All right. Love you guys. Remember, make it and mail it. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.